this needs to be, it deserves a mention. You understand that Moses is in his 80s, near 90 years old when God calls him to climb the mountain. In fact, if you read the story, you'll see that in his 80s and 90s, this whole story where Moses is leading the people of Israel, getting the Ten Commandments, setting up the law, setting up the tabernacle, setting up what would become the entire basis and foundation of the Jewish faith, which becomes the basis uh, in, in Christ for our Christianity. Listen, Moses is going up and down this mountain dozens and dozens and dozens of times in his 80s and 90s. I mean... That's impressive. Amen, somebody? Some of you in your 40s and 50s struggle with a set of stairs, myself included. I wake up in the morning, every morning, and I, and I feel like such a punk in the morning because I come out of my bedroom and I go down our stairs, and, man, I've got to go, i got to take half the stairs, you know, like two feet at a time. You know what I mean? Not like this. Like, like i, mean, I got to go this step and then this step and then finally I'm like Justin you are too young to be struggling this hard in the morning on steps but I'm afraid I'm gonna fall everything is achy Moses is 80 90 years old climbing mountains up and down this is a fit God but here's the thing do you think in his 80s and 90s as Moses is climbing the mountain do you think he ever got tired do you think his lungs ever began to burn because the oxygen was getting spent as he's climbing the mountain? Do you think his legs ever filled up with lactic acid and his thighs starts to burn as he's climbing up mountains? Come on, somebody. Do you think, do you think the rocks once in a while slipped out of under his feet and he might have tr got tripped up the other day? The other day, I came home yesterday, I had to do a funeral, and I was wearing uh, dress shoes. And uh, I got, I, I like, I like the little, like the, they're probably out of style now, but I got them like kind of pointy square toed dress shoes. I was wearing those and I was running upstairs to change when I got home and I, I tripped going up the stairs. Nothing makes you feel cooler than when you trip going up the stairs. And uh, when 285 pounds of Justin Bradley trips up the stairs, the whole house and the house next door hears it. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, it's not a quiet situation. And, and, and. I tripped going up the stairs, and I heard Luann go, are you okay? And I just said, my pointy-toed shoes got caught on the stairs, but, yes, I'm fine. You think anything like that ever? I mean, he wasn't wearing pointy-toed shoes. I don't think. Maybe he was. Do you think he ever slipped once in a while going up and down the mountain? You think there were ever moments that he was sweaty and tired and thirsty and hungry, and he thought, man, if i got to climb this mountain one more time, I, I'm not doing it. I'm done. I quit. I'm, my lungs are burning. My thighs are burning. I, I don't feel like climbing this mountain today. You think the climbing the mountain ever got hard? Of course it did. He was just a regular guy. But God called him to the mountain. And I say all that to say this, to understand, listen, just because what God calls you to do gets hard doesn't mean you're any less called. Amen? Just because something God puts on your heart to do or tells you to do gets difficult doesn't mean, it's, doesn't mean you're not called. Let me say it this way. I'm still called when the climb gets hard. When the climb gets difficult, when my lungs are burning, when I don't think I can take another step, Listen, I'm still called even in that moment. See, I think sometimes we think that just because God calls me to something, that means it's all going to be easy. Just because God calls me to something, that every day I'm going to feel this overwhelming sense of God's grace and God's presence. Now, if you've experienced that, or if you've walked out a calling and done something God's told you for any amount of time, you'll understand every day is not like that. Amen? Amen? There are going to be days when God calls you to climb a mountain and it's going to be hard and you're not going to hear God's voice and you're not going to sense his presence and you're not going to feel an overwhelming desire to climb the mountain. All you're going to have to go on is the call when God said, come up to me on this mountain. But just because the climb gets hard doesn't mean I'm still not called. 